comic book fans, they love talking about who would win in a fight between two different characters, especially characters from different fictional universes that would never coexist in a regular story, like a Marvel superhero and a DC superhero. One of the most common matchups that people like to discuss is who would win in a fight between Superman and the Hulk? People think this would be a good fight because it's Marvel's strongest character versus DC's strongest character, as if the deciding factor would be strength. Who's stronger? Is it Superman? Is it Hulk? Who can punch the hardest? Who can take the most damage? People think it would be an epic slugfest between two big strong guys punching each other back and forth. It sounds exciting, but that's not how it would go. The argument people make for why Hulk would win is that there's no limit to his strength. The madder Hulk gets, the stronger Hulk gets. So the more Superman punches him, the more it's just going to make Hulk get stronger and stronger until he eventually overwhelms the Man of Steel. It sounds reasonable if you ignore Superman's other powers. The thing about Superman is that he has a whole set of powers at such extreme levels that he should be able to beat pretty much any other character instantly, if you don't ignore the full extent of what he's capable of, like writers almost always do whenever Superman fights anybody. Because otherwise there would be no drama, there would be no suspense, and writers like to have drama and suspense in a story. The most common power of Superman's that gets neglected is his super speed. In his 80 plus years of existence, Superman has been well established to be able to fly and run at anywhere from faster than the speed of light down to as low as maybe a couple times the speed of sound. Not only can he run and fly at those speeds, but he can do tasks at those speeds as well. I'm sure somewhere out there there's a scene where he rebuilds a house or a building that got destroyed in a three-second blur of motion. One instant there's no house, the next, boom, there's a house, good as new. How did he do it? His super speed. He did it easily. So if Superman can do that, how is he going to get in a fight with some big strong guy that has normal human level speed and reaction time and be trading punches back and forth? How is Hulk going to land a punch on a guy that is 10,000 times faster than he is? This is how a Superman vs. Hulk fight would really go. Let's say Hulk is going on a rampage. He's in a city somewhere. It's classic Savage Hulk, smashing cars, smashing buildings. People are running in terror. Superman could be miles and miles away in some whole other part of the country. Either with his super senses or through the news, he would become aware of Hulk's destructive rampage. He would think to himself, I better stop that. I can't let that happen. In about one-eighth of a second, Superman would fly across all those miles to the city where Hulk is. He would grab Hulk and throw him out of the atmosphere, clear into outer space, where Hulk, who can't fly, would just be helplessly floating around. From Hulk's point of view, it would seem like he just teleported into outer space. One second he's smashing a car, the next second, how would I get in space? From the point of view of some random bystander, it would be like Hulk simply vanished. They would be watching Hulk in terror as he smashes buildings apart with his bare hands. They might be screaming, worried for their life. Then all of a sudden, huh? Where did Hulk go? Superman moves so fast they wouldn't even see a blur. Now, you might be asking, is Superman going to let Hulk die in the vacuum of space? Of course not. Superman wouldn't do that. He would fly to the Fortress of Solitude and come back with some advanced alien technology he has stored there from one of his earlier adventures. He could use it to trap Hulk in some way that Hulk could never possibly get out of. Then he would bring him back to the Fortress of Solitude and use more of that technology to cure Bruce Banner of the Hulk permanently, saving the world from Hulk's destructive tendencies for good. 
And that is how a Superman versus Hulk fight would go. Who wins? Superman. Easily and obviously. Every single time. On one side, you have a guy that's really strong and invincible. On the other side is a guy that's also really strong and invincible and can fly and move at the speed of light and do a dozen other very useful things that Hulk can't do. So if you like topics like this, there's a chance that you might also like mythology. I've written a novel about ancient Greek mythology called Gods in the Dust, Greek Mythology as a High Fantasy Epic. I took a number of different stories from the ancient sources like Homer, Hesiod, Apollo Doris, and Ovid, stories that normally don't connect in any consistent timeline, and I pieced them together as one fluid plot and wrote it out like fantasy fiction with some of the flavor of classic literature for that epic feel. It's available on Amazon, so please check it out. There should be a link below. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe.